Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today, we will be looking at the 1973 Mercury Cougar Street Machine by AMT Ertl. Now, this one's out of my own personal collection. However, you can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now, let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. And now we get to go all the way back to our Mercury dealer as we get to check out the Mercury Cougar Street Machine by AMT Ertl. Now this Mercury Cougar Street Machine is a skill level 2 kit for ages 10 and up. It does require paint and glue. And as you can see, it's got a great engine under the hood as well as an interior and the tail light profile is excellent. And if we remove the lid on this wonderful machine, you can see all the great details inside the box. Like our Mercury Cougar instructions with our decals sticking out. We can take a look at that toward the end of the video. Then you see all the great components in here like our body, our chassis, the interior, engine components and this great big thing here, we'll check that out in a bit, and then all of the other goodies and details as well as we got our glass in a bag and our chrome in a bag and our tires down below. Here we have the instruction sheet for our Mercury Cougar Street Machine. This one was by AMT Ertl under RC2, so it is from a little while ago. Here we have a paint chart down below to show all the colors that we need to build this kit. Now what makes this cat really cool is that you actually get two Ford engines in here. One is the standard 351 cubic inch and the other is the amazing 429 super motor. So what we have here is our engine block going together left and right hand side. The transmission is separate on this one because it is shared with the other engine. We have our intake manifold, our two cylinder heads, our front timing chain cover, and the oil pan. And if we move over into panel 1B, you can see our air cleaner going down here with the tube, as well as our carburetor, the valve covers, the breathers, the distributor, and the front hoses here. Panel 1C shows the amazing belts on this car which includes the alternator and our power steering pump, as well as the fan and our oil filter. And now we get into the 429 in panel 2A, and here we have the cylinder heads gluing onto our engine block left and right, timing chain cover, oil pan, and look at this intake manifold here. We continue building the 429 with the chrome valve covers and breather, the big four barrel carburetor, our air cleaner, and our distributor, and then we get it over into our hoses, the alternator, the pulley and the fan, the racing fan with four blades, and our big race ready oil filter popping on. Now for panel three, be a little bit careful as to which starter motor you're using because one is stock and the other is custom, but there is our transmission gluing together in two pieces. Then if we go over to panel four, we have our interior as a tub with a gear shift, the two front seats, the dashboard and our steering wheel. Panel 5 shows our choices of wheel options. We have the custom 5-spoke Krager mags, and then the stock wheels with the hubcap gluing into our tire, and then we've got our wheel back with pins for retainers, and then we have drum brakes in the back, disc brakes up front. Panel 6 shows the chassis going together with our front end, and then cross braces for our engine and transmission. Panel 7 shows our chassis getting finished off with our exhaust pipes gluing onto the chassis. Then we get this wonderful two-piece rear differential, our shock absorbers and our rear wheels, which all glue together to complete that. Up front in panel 8, your choice of the custom or the stock motor going in place. There's our stock exhaust manifolds and our custom manifolds going on as well. And all this drops together to finish off the front end of our chassis. Now here's something you don't see every day. We have our inner splash panels and the firewall molded as one piece. Here's our radiator support and our radiator, as well as the battery which will all glue into this. And then we have the two braces up top for our Ford F suspension, which of course would have the shock absorber sitting on top of the A arms. Panel 10 shows our rear bumper gluing in place, along with the Mercury Cougar style tail lamps which will glue on and make the back end look really nice. 
Panel 11 is the beginning of the final assemblies for our car. Here we can see our glass gluing into the body, as well as the interior tub and our engine bay components gluing all in as one solid piece. Panels 12 and 13 can be shown together as one is a stock build and the other is a custom, however they do share steps in between. As you can see, we've got our grill gluing onto the front of the body with the cat license plate gluing onto the bumper, our stock hood, side view mirrors. I do believe there's a shock absorber being glued in here, proper Ford F suspension, and then our front wheel glues in place. Now, if we carry on to the custom, there is a hood scoop. You have to cut a hole in the hood, a front splash pan underneath, and then we've got our exhaust going off the side of the car. And for our custom version of the cat, we have our nice decals going onto the body in panel 14. Here we have our amazing cougar body for 1973. And as you can see, we have to cut a few of the braces out from here. These braces, of course, are put in so the fenders don't warp in the molding process. We don't have any of the grill or windshield wipers underneath here, but that's okay because the hood would cover that naturally as depicted right here. We do have a nice vinyl top pattern molded in. And if I turn this up into the camera, you can see on the side, we've got the Mercury Cougar logo, as well as the turn signal lamps and nice door handles with the Cougar script down here and a little bit of detail on the rocker panels. Underneath, not very many mold marks that we have to deal with. Across the back, we have Cougar on that nice big trunk lid. And what else can I tell you? This thing looks very nice indeed and should clean up really well. Our next component is the interior tub, as well as some bits for the brakes and the steering wheel on the back of this parts tree. You can see we do have an automatic going on here with the gas pedal and the front pedal for your brake, as well as some nice detail for the carpets. There are a bit of mold marks back here. The seat detail is quite nice. Door handles are a little bit light, but that's what you expect in a tub. And then of course our steering wheel detail and our brakes, all of which are really quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Next we can follow that interior with our chassis pan. There's our lower A arms there. If you turn over you can see all the nice detail molded in place. This is a unibody car but does look quite excellent, including the gas tank in the back. This model kit contains five parts trees. Here we're looking at the first three. And now we're looking at the remaining two. And here we have our engine components. And as you can see, we've got a nice automatic transmission sitting there. Our engine block cylinder heads, intake manifold, fan belts, and front timing chain cover, as well as wheel backs, exhaust manifolds, and some hoses. So again, very nicely done. Here we can see our front bucket seats. We also have a convertible boot in here that was thrown in as extra the front shock springs and our mufflers and our drive shaft. Again, look at the nice detail on the seats. They actually have the cat emblem inside and that convertible boot. Again, this kit was originally an MPC kit. So there could be a whole set of instructions out there that show a whole bunch of neat parts for this kit that of course are not in this RC2 version. Continuing on, we've got our hood and our radiator support with the horns you can see battery, two-piece differential, and all the rest. There is quite a bit of flash on here. Nice cougar emblem on the hood. Turning upside down, you can see the square where the hood gets cut out. And then we've got some mold marks in there as well as matting underneath. Overall though, not too bad. A bit of work, but should look excellent on the completed model. Here's our front splash aprons as well as the firewall. And again, nice detail in here, although this is quite the strange arrangement. But, you know, it is what it is. Here's a look at the components that make up our 429 engine, as well as some other components on here. And again, you can see that the detail is pretty nice. This is a pretty interesting thing. The street is neat cougar plaque for the street scene. And again, there's the MPC logo up there. But, you know, what an interesting piece. It's too bad there's no instructions as to how you use this thing. But still, overall, very nicely executed components. And now here's a parts tree that is quite a bit different. You can see this big gigantic drag chute, probably the biggest in any kit out there that's 125th scale. <laughs> There's our dashboard with all the nice details on there, looking just like a proper Cougar dashboard. And then there's the drag chute with all the folds inside, the hood scoop for the cat version, 
and of course our braces for the F suspension. There's our pins for our wheels, and overall, again, nice detailing work. Now here's a lowdown on all our chrome components. As you can see, there is quite a lot in this kit, which is a nice change from some of the other kits of the 70s. If we just rotate this around, you can see that amazing Cougar grille. Look at that nice detail in there, very uh, European with a little radiator up in there. And then look at those nice wheels we've got there, the hubcaps, as well as the cat at the back here for our rear bumper. Again, very nice, this will look perfect. There we've got all our valve covers for the different engines, those lake style pipes. I was wrong, these are American style mag wheels, made in America with pride. <laughs> There's our oil pans and all the different components. But again, that grill is amazing looking. Nice detail, should go good with a wash, as well as the colors for the side marker lights. Not much to worry about underneath, but again, overall, this chrome is amazing. Our next two components are transparencies. And as you can see, we've got our groovy front windshield connected, of course, by our bridge, typical 70s pattern, and then our rear glass. And here we have those nice mercury tail lamps. And if I bring them up to the camera, you can see that they have a bit of a grill going on inside them, which is prototypical to the actual car. The tires included in this kit are not quite accurate to the real car. These are BF Goodrich radial TAs, which would have been more later 70s than early 70s. We have the nice tread pattern on here, which is quite good. So if you don't mind having your car with, you know, later model tires, you're fine. However, I do believe that there would be some Firestone tires in this kit originally, and you could probably substitute these kit tires for the later AMT Firestones with a little groove in there for painting on the white wall. Last but not least, we have this amazing decal sheet. And look at that nice gold on here. This says the cat. And then it has all these different cougars running. And this would look really great if you painted your car black, much like this earlier box art shown here. And that completes our look of the 1973 Mercury Cougar Street Machine by AMT Ertl under the RC2 banner. And if you've built this model kit in the past, please share your photos on our Facebook page. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that great video where I got to show you the 1973 Mercury Cougar Street Machine by AMT Ertl. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, happy model building! And now we return once again to our Mercury showroom where we get to check out the very groovy Mercury Cougar Street Machine by AMT Ertl. You can see my hand over here. <laughs> uh.